a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Lee Pace Lee Griner Pace is an American actor. Pace has been featured in film, stage and television. He starred as protagonist Joe McMillan in AMC's Halt and Catch Fire. He also played Roy Walker slash The Masked Bandit in the 2006 film The Fall. He has appeared in film series, including The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2 as Garrett and The Hobbit trilogy as Thranduil. He played villain Ronan the Accuser in the film Guardians of the Galaxy, and starred as Ned in the ABC series Pushing Daisies, for which he was nominated for the Golden Globe Award and Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series in 2008. Early Life Pace was born in Chickasha, Oklahoma, the son of Charlotte, a school teacher, and James Roy Pace, an engineer. He has two siblings, a sister named Sally and a younger brother named Willem Pace. As a child, Pace spent several years in Saudi Arabia, where his father worked in the oil business. The family later moved to Houston, Texas. Pace attended Klein High School in Spring, Texas, a suburb of Houston, with future fellow actor Matt Bomer. Pace temporarily quit high school to act at Houston's Alley Theater before returning to graduate. At the Alley, he appeared in productions of The Spider's Web and The Greeks. In 1997, Pace was accepted by the Juilliard School's drama division as a member of Group 30, which also included actors Anthony Mackie and Tracy Toms. While there, he acted in several plays, including Romeo and Juliet as Romeo, Richard II in the title role, and Julius Caesar as Cassius. He graduated from Juilliard with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Theatre after graduation, Pace starred in several off-Broadway plays, including The Cradle Canvas and The Fourth Sister. He also starred in a production of Craig Lucas' Small Tragedy, for which he was nominated for a Lucille Lortel Award as Outstanding Actor. In 2006, Pace starred in the two-character play Guardians by Peter Morris, which earned Pace his second nomination for a Lortel Award as Outstanding Actor. April 19, 2011 marked Pace's Broadway debut, when The Normal Heart began its previews. It opened April 27 at the Golden Theatre. The show ran for a total of 96 performances, with its closing night on July 10, 2011. Pace played the character Bruce Niles in the show. Pace was cast as composer Vincenzo Bellini in Golden Age, which began previews November 15, 2012. The play, written by Terence McNally, began its official run at the Manhattan Theatre Club December 4, 2012. The previews were originally scheduled for November 13, 2012, but two shows were cancelled as a result of Hurricane Sandy. Pace is currently playing the role of Joe Pitt in the Broadway transfer of the National Theatre's production of Angels in America, a gay fantasia on national themes. Previews began at the Neil Simon Theatre on February 23, 2018, and the show is scheduled to open on March 25, 2018. Film Pace first gained recognition for his role in the 2003 film Soldier's Girl, based on real events, in which he played the central role of Calpurnia Adams. Of the role, Pace has said, Pace won a Gotham Award for Breakthrough Actor, and was nominated for several other awards, including a Golden Globe Award, for his work in this film. In 2008, Pace starred in the film Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day and in Tarsum Sings the Fall. The Fall was very well received amongst critics and viewers alike and where Pace starred in one of his most artistic roles. His next film was the movie Possession with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Pace also played supporting roles in The White Countess, Infamous, When in Rome and The Good Shepherd. In 2010, Pace appeared as Phil Winslow in the film Marmaduke. In 2012, Pace starred as Garrett, the nomadic vampire, in The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part Two. Pace was admittedly aware of the reputation linked to the Twilight franchise, and revealed that he went into this a little like you know what you're getting into, just do what you can. However, he enjoyed the experience and only had praise for the director Bill Condon. Stephanie Meyer, the author of The Twilight Saga, was very satisfied with Pace's performance as Garrett, since he stood out as someone who really was just so much fun and really looked the part. The movie was met with a mixed reception by critics, however, some critics, such as Betsy Sharkey of the Los Angeles Times, whose only issue was that he was introduced too late in the series. Why, 
Oh, why didn't they introduce him sooner? Meanwhile, Sarah Stewart of the New York Post simply described him as a standout. Pace appreciates the support of the fans, and said that he felt their support while he was appearing in Golden Age on Broadway. A lot of them come to the play, which is nice, really nice. I just appreciate that Twilight really does bring a community of people together. On April 30, 2011, it was announced that Pace had been cast as the King of the Mirkwood Elves, Thranduil, in Peter Jackson's film adaptation of J. R. R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. The announcement was made by Peter Jackson himself, who revealed on his Facebook page that Pace had been his favorite, for the part, ever since he saw his performance in The Fall. The character had previously been mentioned in Jackson's The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring and had previously been portrayed in The Hobbit, voiced by Oscar-nominated director Otto Preminger, and in the 1968 BBC radio series, voiced by the British actor Leonard Fenton. Pace made three trips to New Zealand, and called it a fantastic experience. The character appeared in the prologue of The Hobbit, an unexpected journey released in December 2012, and had a larger role in The Hobbit. The Desolation of Smaug released in December 2013 and in the last film of the series, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, released on December 17, 2014. On July 28, 2011, it was announced that Pace had been cast in Steven Spielberg's Lincoln, as the one-time New York City Mayor Fernando Wood, an early Confederate supporter. The events in the movie takes place in 1865, when Fernando Wood served in the House of Representatives. However, at the time, Wood was 53 years old, which is 20 years senior to Pace's age when he portrayed him. In a Q&A, Spielberg revealed that he decided to offer Pace the part, after he saw his performance in Ceremony, of the experience of the film. Pace said that it was a real pinnacle of what I've done as an actor. The movie was nominated for 12 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and was nominated for Best Ensemble at the Screen Actors Guild Award. However, Pace was not included among the Lincoln Ensemble's nomination, and several bloggers were annoyed by this, including Katie Rich of CinemaBlend.com and Nathaniel Rogers of the film Experience. Pace played the villain, Ronan the Accuser, in the 2014 Marvel Studios film Guardians of the Galaxy. He is set to reprise the role in Captain Marvel. Television Pace played Aaron Tyler in the acclaimed, but short-lived 2004 television series Wonderfuls, which was co-created by Brian Fuller. Later, Fuller cast Pace in the lead role of Ned in the series Pushing Daisies which debuted on ABC in October 2007 and returned for its second and final season on October 1, 2008. For his role as Ned, Pace was nominated for several awards including, Primetime Emmy Award, for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series, Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Television Series, Musical or Comedy, also, for a Satellite Award for Best Actor in a Television Series, Musical or Comedy, and a Saturn Award for Best Actor on Television. Pace has also portrayed a child molester in the Law and Order, Special Victims Unit episode, Guilt, in 2010. Pace was cast in the unsold HBO pilot The Miraculous Year directed by Catherine Bigelow. From 2014 to 2017, Pace played the role of Joe McMillan in the AMC series Halt and Catch Fire. Personal Life Lee Pace said in a 2018 interview that he has dated both men and women, but does not identify with a single sexual identity label. He had been identified in 2012 as gay by Ian McKellen, who worked with him in The Hobbit movies. McKellen's outing was described in the press as a blunder and an accident on his part as Pace had not come out by then. Pace made no comments about his romantic life until 2018. On March 5, 2018, Pace wrote on his official Twitter account he views himself as a member of the queer community. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?